Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. Reading today from James chapter 5, verse 19. Brethren, so he's talking to Christians, if any of you do err from the truth, and one converteth him, Notice that the one in error, the one who has wandered from the truth, is a Christian. James writes, if anyone among you wanders from the truth, he's talking to Christians. This does not refer to a Christian who simply does something wrong. It's, it's much more than that. It's talking about a Christian who wanders from the truth of God's word, perhaps rationalizes his disobedience, rationalizes by twisting the scriptures to fit his sinful desires. It's talking about a Christian who tolerates sin and continues to tolerate sin and false teaching, and slowly wanders from Christ. And you know, if that continues without repentance and without confession, they will end up denying the faith completely. You say, that can't happen. The Bible says it can happen. The Bible warns about it happening. The Bible even gives examples of it happening. And the road to hell is littered with damned souls who once served Christ, but they gave sin a foothold in their life. They loved the sin more than they loved the truth of God's word. They tolerated it. They lusted after it. They fulfilled their lustful desires again and again and again without confession without repentance, and they slowly lost their faith because that's what happens. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and one converteth him, let him know that he who converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Ladies and gentlemen, he is talking to Christians. I emphasize that again. And if you think that what I said in the previous verse was not true, that it's impossible for a Christian to err and wander from the truth to the point that they lose their soul, well, look at this verse because it's exactly what it says. Let him know that he who converteth the sinner, Christian, from the, not somebody who just professed to be a Christian, a Christian, he called them brethren, you convert somebody like that from the error of his ways shall save a what? Soul. They'll save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Everyone dies physically. Not going to save a soul from death. Everyone dies physically. It's talking about soul death. That's why he said soul. He didn't say person. He didn't say body. He said soul. This is talking about spiritual death and being damned to hell. Anyone who turns their back on Jesus Christ and persists in that is damned to hell unless they repent. If they once followed Christ and then they turn their back on him and then return to him, they will be restored. Their sin will be forgiven. It's never too late to return to Jesus, but the choice is always up to the individual. God wants sinners to return to Jesus because their returning wipes out their sin and saves them from hell. Study all the Bible with me verse by verse at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible. You can study at your pace, at your convenience. If you would like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, you can be by praying for me and God's Word, and I would appreciate that very much. 
Also, when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long.